not here so far on this one is this as far as I can make out there's four chords this is my version of it I'm not saying this is exactly what Niles playing note for note but this is my version of it four chords basically just four chords to learn all through the song you've got chord one two So chord one, I'll show you how the I do the little melodic hammer hammer ons and offs in a minute, but let's start with the main chords to play along with it that I've got. Um, bar on seven and then string five held down on nine. For that one. Alright, now as those of you who've what by the way, those of you who've watched me other clips where I'm doing other copies of Nile songs on here, he doesn't play the whole six strings at once. He's only playing part of the strings, uh, either the bass strings or the middle strings or the top strings. That's part of his technique as it goes along. All right. But uh, just to demonstrate what chords I'm showing here, I'll strum all six just to save any mess in the bag. You've got um, chord uh, two is a bar on five and then strings two, three and four held down on seven. That's the whole chord there. Chord three, you've got a bar on nine, and then you all have got a string two on ten and string three on story string four on eleven. That's two on ten, four on eleven. And then your last chord is like a, a bar. Basically, it's it's chord two but two frets higher. This time it's a bar on seven and strings two, three, and four held down on nine. What I'm doing for chord one, as I mentioned, you've got this rhythm going on. I'm sort of doing like a little hammer on with my little finger from strings um, seven to nine under the chord to get. Basically, what I'm trying to do is just get a little bit of movement going into the chord just instead of just playing a plain chord just get a little funky device if you listen to the record there's like a little funky device is being used in the playing so that's the way i've done that one chord two i'm sort of doing three down strokes and then i'm doing this one one is on string four between fret seven and nine and then string three on fret seven that sort of thing uh, what I'm doing for chord three with this one here put your little finger down on the top two strings on fret 12 okay and then for chord um, four all I'm doing here is making the little finger just work here on string one, on and off, and uh, fret nine. So you've got four chords and there's a little bit of movement in each one. Um, what I do sometimes, by the way, you see me other clips, which I do on here on this sort of style. Instead of doing a bar on all the chords, what I'm... What I like doing here, instead of that bar for chord three, right, there's a different way of playing it, where I have, uh, instead of the bar chord, I've now got string one on nine, string two on ten, and string four on eleven, and string three is damp, and I'm just angling the, the, the pad of me third finger down, and just, you can like, the, the advantage with this over the bar chord is you can can slide up basically all you do start off one fret down strum it and just slide it up and you've got the option again with the little finger to, to slide up and down all right so that's the basic four chords um, which I've got for that song so far all right bye for now